Hello. Good to see you. All right, there, Revenants. Welcome back to Code Vein and the Road to 100, where today we are in the uh, parking garage, the ruined city center, and uh, we are going to make our way all the way up here to the cocoon nest. And there's not really a whole lot of interesting things to fight along the way, um, because this area is just a huge mess of groups of enemies. And to play a fast attacking. Um, in and out kind of play style against them it typically leads to uh, getting ganged up on in bad tight corners uh, where everything is horrible today we're going to be playing harbinger and uh, you might not think of harbinger as an actually good um, ability set here but uh, what we lack in our ability to um, what we lack in our ability to actually put out damage on the enemy and such, we are going to make up for with the amount of health that we have. As you can see down there, we're at, um, we're at, oh, come on. We're at, uh, 5149, uh, HP. Well, where is he? There he is. And so we are, uh, able to completely uh, engage these guys and take a hit uh, no problem at all and so we'll go for a couple backstabs here now you will notice that our i recovery uh, business here is uh, pretty trash um, along the way and we are going for the uh, damage at the moment and uh, we're not able to really uh, recover i but you can go for the um, the uh, devour or drain version for this um, to help you uh, recover more i -Corps because as you see last time we were uh, very 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 flush with i and this time we are kind of starved for it ouch and you can see there that we are uh, having some pretty beefy defenses overall and we are able to uh, completely uh, engage these guys uh, no problem and our f our speed of our attack setup here uh, seems kind of contradictory right because we are um, um, playing with a very 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 uh, slow sword um, but the, the reality is is that because of our uh, dodge mechanic attack that we learned about Last time, uh, we are completely able to um, use uh, that to our super advantage here by having a um, by having a uh, dodge attack uh, built into our weapon set here. Let's go ahead and break his guard and maybe get a backstab just for that icor sake. And you can see that there's there's nothing like super. Uh, uh, engaging here about uh, how and why uh, to play these guys um, and we do have quite a bit of power built into our weapon set here and that's really really nice because most of the time it's pretty tough to uh, engage multiple multiple enemies all at one time okay and you can see that the dodge mechanic there is super, 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 super helpful for us to be able to uh, engage these guys uh, like around them and behind them and in each of the directions here that we need. And we have some pretty healthy uh, damage on uh, our, our gift set here. Where is he? There he is. And being able to uh, dodge in and out against these guys. And as you can see, uh, we, we made him, forced him uh, into a position where most of his uh, activity was spent uh, turning around and around and around and around in circles. Um, and these enemies, you can just parry them. Uh, pretty much the whole time and it's not a lot of uh, and 
interesting uh, excitement here for them. Okay. And, but we are uh, built in such a way that we should be able to uh, handle these folks. And let's go for a launch attack because it's part of the uh, toolkit here, so why not? And always take the double if you can. Oh, definitely didn't time that one. Oh well. And too bad Cleansing Light ran out, but it doesn't matter. So you can see that having the Devour uh, Veil definitely is helping us keep our i up to uh, higher levels, but it won't matter really right for the Butterfly Fight. Um, because for the Butterfly Fight, you're going to be um, just defending and there won't really be any kind of uh, engagements where, where you'll be able to backstab and such, but it will help us during uh, our parries. Okay, so as you can see, it's uh, just, there's not really um, like a super fast way to play uh, these guys. It's just uh, as much as you can uh, dodge in and out and go for the iframes of backstabs when you can. It's not always available, but uh, when you can, it's really, really helpful. Okay, and we're not able to hold on to our uh, concentration here. Our gift concentration. Now with the dogs, it's really important that you uh, maintain uh, some pretty quick mobility here. And that's where our gift attacks come in super handy because we are able to keep up with them as well as keeping up our uh, stamina abilities, which is why concentration is so uh, important that if we can keep concentration running, uh, we are really, really, really going to have a super good time with our uh, damage here and with our um, abilities because we're going to be able to uh, keep up with these guys uh, in stamina and everything uh, very, very easily. So let's see about this guy. Obviously, we do not want to be tackling anybody uh, in multiple uh, enemy scenarios. And with this weapon, it's pretty much a one dodge and attack. One dodge and attack. And they will spend most of, if not all their time, moving around in circles. And especially this guy, okay, um, especially that guy, you could see that he was like turning, 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 and he didn't know really where we were, um, and he wasn't able to commit. And there you have it. It's a, it's a really, really simple uh, mechanic. Uh, now, if we can hold on to concentration here, um, then we'll be so much better off. But um, we're having a little bit of difficulty here, right? But nothing that we can't overcome. So let's go ahead and just take these guys out. That's fine. If that guy is wandering around by himself, that is completely fine. And we, hopefully we can get as much out of this guy yeah, as possible. Uh, and just get rid of him uh, all together outright. Now the backstabs here are just for uh, us to load up on as much i as we can before uh, moving on. And you can see how fast that running attack is. Uh, that is super, super, super quick. And it really, really allows us to, um, it really allows us to get in and out uh, very, very fast.
and one attack and move, one attack and move. And you can see that with concentration active, we are really, really able to uh, get a good amount of attack that's out on the enemy. And if we go for a little bit more stamina here and have, um, you know, a much, much, much higher uh, stamina ceiling here, uh, we will have some uh, serious ability to move around, which is going to be really great. Okay. Now see, that's like a full 360 attack uh, set there that she has, and that's kind of unfair because she can't keep up, so they gave her a panic button. Okay, I didn't hit the spacebar, I guess. So you can see they're moving in and out amongst her attack sets there is uh, really really great okay and pushing dogs down is always 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 a good thing to do okay so there's our stamina uh, options back and let's go for a charge attack here and down so uh playing playing a fast sort of uh attack suite here with the um with a very very uh slow sword uh you're taking advantage of the uh iframes uh, of the very 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 generous iframes of the uh attack set here uh, so that is really really nice Okay, monkey, let's go. Come on, over here. And just regular basic attacks are really, really good as well. It's just they are really slow. Goodbye, monkey. Okay, so this guy, uh, we do not want to uh, engage him any other way except from the back here, so we will uh, take care of this. And you can see that again, back and forth, uh, kind of motion action here. And even though our damage is at 863, remember we get 20% increase to our damage uh, just from dodging around. Uh, and even though it takes a ton of stamina to do that, uh, it doesn't matter because we are uh, able to um, get pretty much all of our stamina back, right? Because of the fact that we are um, able to uh, dodge in circles and we have Concentration and Valiant Heart here available to us and we're able to uh, really, really uh, minimize our... Um, we're able to minimize our stamina usage because of those two gifts specifically. Ouch. Okay. Okay, we're gonna get slapped so hard here. Okay. Oh well. We hit his shield a bit too many times there for my liking, but that's okay. Um, and now we'll just head upstairs and get the missile. Let's get rid of this guy first. And the backstabs are kind of a uh, cheap, uh, cheaty kind of way to uh, go about dispatching of enemies here in the, uh, in the uh, parking garage but uh, it doesn't matter. That's part of the game, and that is part of how you actually keep your survival going because of the i requirements of the game. Okay, so we will brave the bridge uh, as is here. And this is going to be a little bit tough because it's three on one in a confined space with, uh, with all the shooters and everybody um, wishing to kill us. 
So uh, let's go ahead and heal uh, a lot. <laughs> and let's head on in there. Okay, so we'll go for the far right gunner first. Now this kind of gameplay here is called uh, targets of opportunity and iframes. <laughs> this is uh, nothing else other than that. Okay, it, okay, that gunner is still there. Okay, good. Now we have, oh, I can't see. We'll go for the launches. Now you can see that we have an insane amount of health here and pretty good defense overall, so we're not too worried about too much here. So it's not insanely fast, you know, I mean, it's not like Ninja Gaiden fast, um, but for Vayne, um, this is a pretty fast, quick uh, method of how you engage uh, with these enemies. Okay, I couldn't even see there what was going on. How about you just calm down here a little bit and I'll allow me some space here to see what's going on. And uh, the repeated amount of times that we are uh, doing actions uh, is actually uh, quite amazing. Oh, come on, what? That must have been a, a very slow side swipe where I dodged into her and my frames got eaten up on her body because she's a uh, healthy one. And so, oh well, that's how it goes. And if you want to just zoom past everything with the quick mobility here, uh, that is also another uh, great, great, great strategy that you can do. And you can see here that uh, you can simply just dodge through uh, because of the amount of uh, stamina used on dodging and running is uh, super minimal here. Uh, you can simply just go past them, which is also, you know, a strategy as well. So let's get to the butterfly. Um, that's much more interesting than these fellas. Uh, we'll pick up the seeds, definitely. Okay, and then we got another one of these on the stairs. Ouch. I love that, how she can hit you uh, one floor up. Very, very awesome. and yeah, just back up okay so for the butterfly um, obviously we want to keep the uh, devourer because we want to go for parries and such if we can um, now the key here is that the butterfly is super duper aggressive um, and she's always coming after you so if you can get her into a parry loop that will do you uh, the nicest because then you'll be able to just parry back to 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 back. Um, that's not always a guarantee, uh, but it is something that you can uh, watch for. And so we'll go for our stamina uh, activators here uh, before the fight begins. So we have just a little bit of an edge uh, before the fight begins. Now playing the butterfly fast is um, pretty tough. Okay, we're missing each other like crazy here. And that's uh, one, uh, one method there, is to go for uh, those parries. Okay.
Okay. So, the butterfly is, uh, she has tons and tons of tools, uh, that are meant to, uh, ruin you. Okay, wow, she flew f very far away. And again, make sure you uh, go for that um, dash attack. Because that dash attack is oh so good. Alright. We'll wait for her to do her thing here. Dash attack. Dash attack. Dash attack. Okay. Dash attack. Alright, so phase two, this is where things get a little bit awful. Because we have so many more problems to worry about, like this is one of them. That we really can't do anything about. Was a hard hit. Dash attack again. Dashing in and out is really, really, really important uh, for this fight. Okay. Alright. So not too bad so far. Um, she is kind of uh, making things hard on us here. Oof. But overall, it's uh, not too terrible. Oops. Where's she going? She's going all the way over there. Okay. So as you can see, the butterfly is still kind of slow, um, all things considered, um, but it's completely fine. We're able to get in there, you know, when we can and do uh, just enough damage uh, as we need to. Wow, the triple spin to win. That is quite impressive that she does uh, that much. Okay. Well, that's a that's a runaway. Okay. Oof. Can you stop that? And just keep going for that dash attack as much as humanly possible uh, because it is a massive increase of having that free free buff for uh, whoops a free buff for no cost oh man here we go yeah we have nothing that we can do about those bubbles unfortunately I saw that one coming. <laughs> Whoa. Can't even see what's going on here. Ouch. Okay. We'll back off. Oh. Whoops. Okay. Man, she is 
Spinning, 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 spinning. Okay, let's head out of here. Losing about a hundred uh, health. Man, she just loves, 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 loves doing it. Let's just keep healing. There we go. What? Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Wow, she put out two of those uh, poison balls. Okay. You done? Nope, she's not done with the spins. Good grief. Okay. Well, that was an insanely long, uh, painful butterfly fight. But um, you can see that you can constantly get in there with the uh, slash attack and the 1-2. One, 1-2. Two. One, two. And that is pretty quick overall to keep uh, repeating that over and over and over uh, very very nice um, but overall I really like this uh, kind of in and out with a huge amount of health and some pretty decent defenses overall I mean almost uh, 50 across the board here and she does pure crush so it would have been nice to use something like the noble silver but that's okay um, having 40 on crush is pretty nice especially when you are guaranteed quick mobility uh, the full the full entire time and we didn't have the best venom resistance in the world but that's okay we had pretty good pretty good balance overall as you can see it's uh, a, a pretty um, pretty high value there at uh, 163 um, as compared to you know most of the other um, veils so it's just as good as the the hounds feel so um which is pretty nice obviously not the gxl over gear and it and it uh really goes uh above and beyond the um the uh thorn veils here so the ivy veils so anyways um i hope you guys enjoyed this one it's a lot of fun to have you know over 5000 hp because then it guarantees that you pretty much will survive any hit um, here in the early game and later on uh, there's a chance that you could be one shot by some of the really overpowered moves um, from the bosses but here for the regular enemies and stuff this is pretty good so anyways uh, thank you guys for watching and this is how you turn a slow weapon into kind of a fast uh, a fast attack weapon but um, hopefully this uh, helped you guys see a little different side of it so anyways thank you for watching and we'll see you tomorrow bye